Forbes here, and it's time for the Torg 2023 pickup video. We're going to show you all the great things I got from Torg this year. Got a couple of really, really fun ones. But before we get started, I want to give a shout out to Glitch Gaming Apparel. I picked up some t-shirts from the guys at Glitch. They're really nice. You'll see them in the upcoming videos. All right, first off, we have Resident Evil 4. GameStop Exclusive Edition for GameCube. This is one that I didn't really know a whole lot about until I started learning about Resident Evil recently. And as I've gotten more into Resident Evil, this one just became one I had to have. This one here is the Mega Man 20th Anniversary for OG Xbox. This is one just filling a hole in my collection. I've heard it's actually pretty good. We'll have to check it out sometime. This is the Lost Planet Steelbook for Xbox 360. Now, now this is really nice. And as you guys know, I don't have a lot of the steel books for Xbox 360, so I've been adding them as time goes by. This is just another one that I've really wanted to add, and I was lucky enough to find it a reasonable price. Now here's a game that I've heard isn't very good. This is the uh, Golden Axe Beast Rider. I've heard that it is not great. I didn't have it, and I got it at a reasonable price. The seller drove a hard bargain, but I was able to get it at a price I could afford. Ken's Rage 2. This is the sequel, Fist of the North. It is a very, very difficult one to find. Not one you see very often. I'd like to thank the uh, reseller who sold it to me from St. Louis. You know who you are. You gave me a really good deal, and this is one I've been looking for for a long time. The only problem is, as you can see here, it's sealed, and I don't know if I can bring myself to opening it. We'll see. This is Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Hardened Edition. Now, this has has a really nice steel book that I did not have. I thought I had this one, but when I looked at it again, I realized I did not. Actually, we have an upcoming year-end steel book video. We're going to be adding two steel books to that count, which is the Hardened Black Ops and then the uh, Super Deluxe Edition of Borderlands 3, which I also got in steel book. Very nice one, but these are just two that I didn't happen to have. They were complete, they were at a reasonable cost, so I went ahead and added them. This is Tony Stewart's SRX, just another one fill in the hole, and uh, this is Super Dungeon Brothers. I've always wanted to play this, I've heard good things about it. This is the Lego Harry Potter. Now these are the remastered versions for Xbox One in the combo pack. This is a very uh, good one, got a decent deal on it. So it actually became one that I have. I've got most of the LEGO games now, if not all of them. Cobra Kai, I don't have uh, the second one. I think it's called Dojo's Rising, but uh, another uh, interesting game mill game that we'll have to uh, get a look at. This is Tony Stewart's SRX. This is another one that I did not have. It is a game uh, mill title, but it looks to be pretty interesting. And as racing games go, you know I'm gonna wanna dig into that. This is Monster Hunter World. I do not have the steel book for this. Have been looking for it, but uh, have not been able to pick it up. Decided I wanted to go ahead and just add the regular version in the meantime. This is one that I didn't pick up at the show, but arrived today. It's a candidate probably for worst game of the year, and I got it at an incredibly ridiculous price. This is Lord of the Rings Gollum. I hear the developers are trying to fix it, make it better. I don't know that it's going to happen. In the meantime, we've got it to the library. A couple other things I was able to luckily pick up. I got a, a nice HD Retrovision component cable. Don't see used HD Retrovision cables very often, but I was able to pick one up at a really nice price. This is the Sega Model 2 one, so it's the one that's very universal. It can be used for a number of things, so I'm pretty excited to get my hands on one. And then also I uh, picked up a JD Fenix Xbox One controller. Now this one was used, didn't drift, works okay. Got it at a reasonable price, so it was worth adding to the collection. Now another one that I was able to pick up is the Xbox 360 Modern Warfare 3. I've actually had a place on my wall for this for a while. I've wanted to add it. You know, it never really appeared at a price that I wanted to pay. So I kind of didn't add it. I was able to wheel and deal at the show and get it at a price that I could afford, that I was willing to pay. 
Now I got one more thing to show you. This is Blockum Sockum for Sega Genesis. This is one that I had ordered a while back from the immortal John Hancock. And while I was at the show, I got John to sign my copy of it, and uh, he was very gracious to do so. Blockum Sockum's a cool little game, and uh, I haven't uh, quite mastered it yet, but uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's one that I definitely would recommend. And if you buy a copy, I'm sure John will sign yours too. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. See you at Torg 2024. Bye now.